Hey guys, hey, uh, I, did, I did want to make this video in order to uh, give you guys just a, a little bit of a, an idea of what it takes to make your muscles grow a little bit faster. Now, believe me, I'm not saying that my muscles are big or anything. I'm just saying that I've taken a massive step in the right direction as far as like growing muscles faster and more effectively than I was doing over the course of like, you know, 10 months of weight training, I did, I've managed to notice sizable growth within the past like month, uh, just by changing one thing. Now, I, I will get into that later on, but uh, you're gonna have to stay tuned to watch the whole video. So honestly, building muscle is very easy and there's a lot of ways that you can do it, um, but, but there's really only one effective way to do it in general, and that's just be consistent, right? You kind of have to go to the gym, or stay at home and like do your workouts in order to find any progress. But there are uh, plenty of books, gurus, people, courses that are gonna tell you how to do this, how to do that. Now, there's two things that I've basically found in my, my muscle growth journey, I guess we could call it. And uh, let's start with the book, right? So I read this book not too long ago called Body for Life. You most likely know about it if you don't. It's a great book by Bill Phillips. It's just an overview of like how to stay in shape, how to, you know, do your workouts based on like your intensity level and it's kind of where HIIT training kind of evolved from because it wasn't called HIIT training back then. It was, it was something way different. But basically uh, this man, Bill, decided to make a book about how he made his body the way it is and how he grew his company, uh, Myoplex, and into the, the giant company that it is now and he actually sold it back then but overall he uh basically made an overview on like nutrition how to structure your workouts what type of workouts do what how to like be stronger faster how to be more cardio focused like there's so many things that he covered in this book i did want to just boil it down to the main purpose of the video now the other thing that you would want to do in order to build your muscle is you Besides reading Body for Life, you have to download this one app called Jeffit. Now, the only reason I'm, I'm shouting them out is because they are the simplest app that I've used out of all the other ones that have been able to track my workouts and show me that I've made consistent progress. Not only does it show me what workouts I have made progress on, I can take progress photos, I can see other workouts that are similar to it that also work out the same muscle. I can write uh, a journal and notes as to like, how my workouts have been going. There's so many ways that this app has been beneficial, but you, uh, you pair these two concepts together and you're gonna see massive growth. So let's just get right into the simple facts of it. If you wanna grow muscle fast, you have to put your muscles under tension. Now, for months and months and months, I was the guy that would go into the gym, put on the heavier weight. Let's say my max is like, I don't know, 275. And I was bench pressing uh, 245. I would be aiming to get around four to five reps, maybe six, very fast. I would just like down, 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 up, down, up, down, up. And like, and I was done with that set very quickly. And it, and it was, cool to say, hey, I can bench press 245 like six times. Like that's cool and everything, like good job, bro. But the real muscle growth comes when you're in control and you're slow on your movements. So in the book, Body for Life, the biggest takeaway that I took from that is you wanna do repetitions and cadences. What that means is you go down for a count and then you go up for a count. So technically, you're gonna to wanna to aim for maybe like three seconds down, one second up. So the cadence that they go by in the book Body for Life is on, let's say you're doing bench press. On your bench press, you go down, you're saying, I'm building my body for life. And on your way up, you're going body for life. I'm building my body for life, body for life. I'm building my body for life, body for life. So that gives you enough time to like be controlled on your way down controlled on your way up because the second we start to freaking jerk around and like like throw the muscles all over the place like you're not effectively controlling the body because that was one of the main reasons why Arnold Schwarzenegger was the size that he was it wasn't because that he was doing things to the heaviest weight that he could he could probably get a massive workout in with 10 pound dumbbells 
because he was so focused on like the form and control of the movement. He wasn't worried about the strength part of it. Like, yes, you do want to challenge yourself. And that's what I'm saying. You want to challenge your body and put it through like stress because it's the only way you can grow. But if you're just going in there and just trying to get your reps done as fast as possible, you're not going to see as much growth as you could as if you were to go slow down and controlled up. Control, 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 control. That's the name of the game. If you're in control of the weight and you're not letting it like throw you around, like gun over row, for example, for me, that's kind of difficult um, to be very controlled with because I want to use like the heavier weight. But like, I guess the best rule of thumb is if you can control it and it's challenging, that's like kind of a perfect mesh. You don't want it to be too easy to where you're like, Ooh, like freaking bench pressing with one arm and like yawning the half, halfway through. And you also don't want to be doing like two reps without being able to do it with good form and you're like throwing your shoulders into it. You want to be doing like a nice clean amount of reps the whole time. Nice and controlled, but by the very end of the reps, like you're you're squeaking it out there. Like you and and, and the cadence is consistent throughout. You're not like body fuck. I'm building my body for life. You're like, I'm building my body for life, body for life. Like, it's very simple, but man, will it kick your ass. <laughs> the first time I did it a couple months ago, I was dying. But ever since then, I've seen a dramatic increase in my performance as far as like physique goes and my strength as well. So I, I probably went up maybe like, I don't know, 10 pounds in my bench press. It's not like massive. I mean, I've made some progress, but I'd much rather be in control than the weights controlling me. So that was the whole point of this. Uh, if you guys leave a, a like, comment, and subscribe on this video, that would be very, 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 very nice. We'd greatly appreciate it. Um, if you have any advice, tips, or tricks on what I could do better in the future, please let me know so we can make these videos better. But again, the whole purpose of these videos is to provide an impact to someone who might need it. So if you have anyone in mind that you think that might value from this video, please send this to them. But just to be honest, the point of this isn't to make videos that are like specifically focused on one thing. If you guys looked at my past 10 videos, they're all kind of different. And that's the whole point. I don't want to make a video that's specific for this one thing because seven months down the road, I might get bored with that like, topic and then the, the content comes out boring too. I wanna to keep myself fresh and energized and I hope you guys can understand that I have to stay true to my DNA. And that's kind of the whole thing that Gary Vaynerchuk talks about is like, you can't do the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again if it's not something that you're actually passionate about and I'm passionate about all the topics that I talk about and I hope that you guys can feel that in the videos that I make for you guys. So appreciate it. If you have any ideas or comments on what I can do better, please let them let me know so I can make these videos better. But thank you again. Hopefully you guys get nice and swole from these. Um, but but thanks for sticking around. We'll, we'll catch you next time.